We look at two different types of seizures on the emergency first aid at work course. The first is tonic-clonic seizure and the second is a focal seizure. So a tonic-clonic seizure is probably um, the first type of seizure that comes to mind that you've seen in movies. Um, so it's when somebody uh, falls to the floor and has involuntary muscle movements. So some quite erratic movements and it can be quite scary to witness. You may also see somebody um, showing arching of the back and also uh, maybe soiling themselves, eyes rolling back, maybe stopping breathing for a period of time and also maybe some blood at the mouth as well where perhaps they've bitten their tongue. So if you experience someone having a seizure, what you're going to do as a first aider is make sure there's no dangers around, especially to the casualty as well, with regards to anything that they could potentially uh, wrap their arm into or their legs into. And also uh, we want to protect their head, so by placing something soft underneath it. Okay, so you've, you've checked for danger. Um, and then from that point, if they're still having their seizure, we're, we're going to time the seizure. The reason we time the seizure, if it goes on for any longer than five minutes, that can be quite dangerous for the casualty. So we need to make sure there's an ambulance on its way. Okay. So we've timed in the seizure. As soon as they've relaxed and all their muscles have relaxed and it's safe for us to do so, we're going to approach the casualty and we are going to continue our primary survey. So we've already checked for danger. We're going to check for response and then check for breathing. So epilepsy is just one reason why somebody may have a seizure. There are multiple others. Um, and one of the other ones is a cardiac arrest. So that's why it's so important that we check for breathing as quickly as possible. If they are breathing, then we need to place them into the recovery position to make sure we can maintain an open airway. Uh, and we need to make sure an ambulance is on its way if it is longer than five minutes that they're in their seizure, if they don't come round and then have another seizure, or if we know it's their first seizure, or we're just not sure, we may not know this person and they've had a seizure, call an ambulance. The second type that I mentioned earlier is a focal seizure. So this is where somebody may just be almost staring into space, so an absent seizure. It may also include lip smacking, plucking at clothes, twitching, um, and just, just random movements, maybe wandering around. So this can also be very dangerous for a casualty, especially if they're in an environment maybe where there's traffic or anything like that. So we need to just try and get them sat down if possible in a safe space. Don't try and snap them out of it, just let them have their seizure. And again, time it. If it's longer than five minutes, call an ambulance. If you don't know that they've ever had a seizure before, call an ambulance. Okay, and just be really reassuring when, when they wake up and remind them where they are. Okay, so some more don'ts when it comes to seizures. Don't ever try and wake them out of it, so snap them out of it by trying to scare them or anything like that. When they're having a tonic-clonic seizure, so they're on the floor having their um, involuntary muscle movements, don't try and restrain them in any way because that could cause more damage. Um, and also to yourself as well, someone's going to be especially strong when they're in that state. So just take a step back and allow the seizure to happen. Okay, so it appears that this gentleman is having a seizure. Um, there's some erratic involuntary muscle movements. Um, you may also see um, that they have soiled themselves, maybe they're foaming in the mouth, or perhaps even that there's blood from where they've bitten their tongue. They may even stop breathing for a period of time, so it can be quite scary to witness. Um, make sure there's no danger. If there is anything potentially that could harm the casualty, uh, move that out of the way so they don't knock their head or their arms or their legs or any part of their body. Uh, if you have a cardigan, a jumper, a pillow of any kind, just try and place it underneath their head to protect them from hitting the floor if they're on hard flooring. Just don't put your hands underneath because you could get broken fingers. They're going to be very strong. Make sure you just stay well back whilst they're having their seizure and time the seizure. If it's any longer than five minutes, then we need to call an ambulance. If we don't believe they've ever had a seizure before, then we need to call an ambulance. And if they injure themselves, we need to call an ambulance. As soon as they've stopped having their seizure, it is import important to check for breathing as quickly as possible. So other causes of seizures may even be a cardiac arrest. So we need to open the airway and check for breathing. This gentleman is breathing, so I'm going to ask for an ambulance because I don't know if he's, had, uh, if he's got epilepsy or what's happening with this casualty. So I'm going to call for an ambulance and place him in the recovery position. My name's Michelle, I'm a first aider. I'm just going to put you in a more comfortable position. Okay. 
So keep talking to them. The hearing is the last sentence to go and the first to come back. So even though they may not be able to respond to you, they may still be able to hear you. And just keep reassuring them and checking back on their breathing from this position.